Hi, I'm Rob, makeup artist for guests. I'm gonna show you how to create the perfect guest girl look using the eye palette. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate one of the eye palettes. That's a nude eye palette. It has 12 eyeshadows, an eyeliner, a mascara, and a mirror. I'm gonna use one of the lightest colors over here to apply all over the lid and highlight the brow bone. And then I'm gonna go in with the transition color to kind of darken the crease a little bit. Then use one of the darkest colors to contour the outer eye. I'm gonna use this bone color all over to kind of prime the eyelid. The texture of the shadow is very velvety and it has high coverage, but it's very moldable, you can control it. And you just basically use the brush to apply it all over the lid, going towards the crease. And you can use a flat brush, either synthetic or natural hair, to apply this. Once you've done with this color, I like to go to a lighter color than that to kind of highlight the brow bone, which in this case, I'm gonna use the one right above it. There's a little bit of pink in it. And this goes right below the brow where the brow bone is to kind of highlight the area. This one is a matte color. You can also use one of the lighter colors, which is a shimmery color to highlight the bone, but I'm gonna do a matte look, so I'm gonna use all matte colors this time. And now I'm gonna use the brown color to kind of create the outer corner contour and then bring it in in the crease. This brown is more of a coffee brown and you wanna use a blending brush using circular motion and then bringing it in in the inner corner as you're blending it. If you wanna turn this into an evening look, you can easily add the black color, which I'm gonna do later on in the video and to create a more of a smoky look. I love the formula and the shadows because they're layering on top of each other great and they're blending very easily. And another thing I love about the eyeshadows, they don't have any fallout. You can accentuate the crease by using the blender brush and the darker color that I just used and going back and forth. This creates that perfect almond shape in the eye, which we all want. And I'm gonna use the black color in here to kind of enhance the outer corner of the eye. I love when eye palettes have black color in them because you can easily create a smoky look with any of the colors. Also, you can layer it on top of the black liner to make sure your liner stays on longer. So I'm gonna use the same blending brush that I've been using, dip it in the black eyeshadow a little bit, and kind of dot it in the outer corner here. And in circular motions, I'm gonna blend it. You wanna stay in the outer corner and just stay in a little dot over here and just blend it to make sure it has that smoky effect. Adding the black color is always optional. This just creates more of a smoky look. We could have easily left it with the brown because it was already kind of like semi-smoky, but I like to enhance it and bring out the smokiness out a little more, so this is why I add a little black at the end. And now that the eyeshadow is completely done, we're gonna add eyeliner and then blend the eyeliner after that. I'm using this liner that was in the kit. I'm applying a thicker line in the outer corner. I like to start having the liner a little thicker on the outer corner, and then as I'm going in towards the inner corner, I taper it into the lash line. You can use your own lash line as your guide when applying the liner to make sure that your liner goes on smoothly and it's a straight line across the eye. This adds perfect depth to the lash line, which means you don't have to necessarily wear eyelashes. It kind of elongates the eyes. I love the eyeliner because it's smooth, draws on really easily. I like to add a little wing at the end, which is the signature guest girl look. When I'm done there, I go back and I perfect the wing. So now that we've perfected the wing, I'm gonna line the bottom of the eye. And I'm gonna connect it to the wing. Using your own lash line, always guide yourself to make sure the line is perfectly straight. I like applying it on the lash line on the bottom. And for more of a dramatic, smoky look, you can add the black eyeshadow on the bottom of the eye as well. And just kind of blend it as you go. And I apply a little bit of the same black eyeshadow on top of the liner to kind of create that smoky, blended look. This will ensure that your liner stays on longer and it has a smoother look. And now we're gonna finish the look with the mascara. I love this mascara because the formula is very volumizing and the brush itself, it's very fluffy, which gets in the bristles, elongates the lashes. I like applying mascara at the root of the lash. This way it lifts it and also volumizes, giving that false lash look. And this formula is buildable, which means you can do from a natural look to more of a bold eye look. I like to layer at least two layers. This way it looks like you have false eyelashes on. And now I'm gonna apply it on the bottom of the lashes. This always makes the eyes look bigger and it opens up the eyes. The look is finished. Now that we're done with the mascara, I always like to add a little pop on the inside of the corners of the eyes. And I'm gonna use one of the lighter, shinier colors over here. Using a small brush, I'm gonna apply it just on the inner corner of the eyes. There you go, now the look is finished. 